Star Wars The Acolyte. This is the brand new Star Wars series coming to Disney+. Plus. I don't know how to feel about this one, Phil. Have you seen any trailers for The Acolyte? I think I've seen like the first trailer for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it didn't blow me away. Yeah. The, I saw... You know what's funny, though? We went to... I don't remember. We were at a movie theater, and they were playing the trailer, like a new one. And it was the best... Th- oh, no, no, no. What we were doing, we were watching Hulu, and the ad came on. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, this looks really good. I'm a little bit more intrigued with it. A couple things holding me back from my anticipation. And let's talk about the positives because I'm a positive guy. I love the showrunner. The writer of this is the girl who did Poker Face, or not Poker Face, um, Russian Doll, the girl mm-hmm. from Poker Faces and Russian Doll. Russian Doll was an incredible Netflix series. So easily already excited because of the writing. Mm-hmm. Second, it takes place 100 years before The Phantom Menace. So it's a full level of Jedi and the Sith coming back. There's oh, someone that's, that's really cool. it's supposed to be a mystery about uh, a Sith person that is basically assassinating Jedi. Oh, wow. So there's a cool mystery to it. That intrigues me. My biggest issue with this series is they said each episode is about only 30 minutes long. Why? Why, why are we still doing this? In an era where you have streaming and you have Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon and Last of Us and all these different shows, Stranger Things... Why are we fucking around with the 30 minute things? Now, again, I haven't seen the show. I could be wrong. I could mm-hmm. watch it and be like, okay, yeah, the 30 minutes works. But what was my biggest issue with Mandalorian? Eh, each episode's a little too short. Boba Fett. Eh, each, well, there's a lot of things wrong with Boba <laughs> Fett. Even Ahsoka. As much as I love the Ahsoka, I wish each episode was longer. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the 30 minute format. Too. It feels like when you're waiting for those sweet episodes to finally come out and you start it, it's over before you realize it. Before it even gets into anything or anything of that nature. And same thing goes for Marvel too. Marvel shows were the same issue. Like some of them teeter the 40, 50 minutes, but like, I don't understand why we keep fucking around with this. Either way, I'm excited for the Acolyte high Republic era. I haven't been the biggest fan of, but there's a lot of intriguing stuff and I'm hoping this is the first thing that makes me go. Wow. I can't wait for more. They're planning apparently three seasons of this. So hopefully oh, wow. it gets supported. You got Carrie Ann Moss who plays uh, Trinity from Matrix playing a Jedi in here. Oh, that's cool. So, and then the main guy from Squid Game is also in this too. So oh. he's playing a Jedi. Very excited.